Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today we're gonna do a little bit of nesting because I am 35 weeks and what, like five days now? And because of the little preterm labor scare that I had a couple days ago, I really got my butt in gear, started ordering stuff for the baby, and I wanna just like share with you guys some of the stuff that I bought. Kind of show you guys the um, progress that we've made. If you guys happen to be new to the channel and you just found me on like one of these nesting videos, um, we just moved into this house two weeks ago so my entire house has just been pure chaos it's been a lot managing a move with also expecting the baby and all of that so i think we've done a pretty good job given like the amount of time we've been here but i'm going to show you the nursery so this is going to be baby's room um again still lots of stuff we've got to do um we've got the crib to assemble this is a glider that i use with both my other kids so we already like washed it we've been like steam cleaning it cleaning it like cleaning it with that upholstery cleaner i think it's looking pretty good even though we might give it like another pass to do this entire stack of boxes you guys we're gonna open them up together this is just stuff that we bought for the baby and then we finally got the um the dresser in here even though eventually once the crib is built i think the crib is gonna go over there the dresser will go like right under the window so it'll be like more you know even in the middle of the room my mom was here a couple days ago too and she helped me do a bunch of stuff so we've got like a bunch of linens that we've washed none of this is going to stay like this but just to give you an idea of what the situation is right now we have a bunch of blankets and stuff that we washed muslin blankets or i think most of these are like crib sheets and things like that in here we have a bunch of swaddles and this is all stuff that i had from the other two kids maybe there's like one set of new pjs but i really haven't bought like a lot of new clothes for this baby but just swaddle blankets and like these are like little changing cloth things so this stuff i've got to go through and fold and then now that we have the actual like dresser here i can start putting stuff in the dresser in here i also have like baby toys like these are all like jackson and riley's old baby toys that i saved random like uh you know like rattles and things and then these are some love every sets that we saved for the baby i have the old outlet even though are we supposed to still use this i thought that there was like a an issue with it if it works i may still use it anyway because i really liked having it for the other two kids but that's not something new that i bought i also have up here i have a baby scale because if you guys remember with jackson that we were always worried that he was underweight he was like in the second percentile he was tiny I do have a scale that i saved and then up here i have that's like a humidifier i think that i'm just gonna keep up here in case we ever need it and that's that thing for the bathtub like if you you want your baby to sit up in the bathtub i don't know it'll be a long time before that gets used but that's up there and then we also have in here the monitor that we're going to use for the baby this is the same like double monitor dual monitor that we had for riley's room and jackson's room now that the kids are sharing a room one of them will go in the kids room and then one will be for the nursery and then this is like the little thing i just got to charge it and make sure that it still works and then just like random things this is that booger sucker thing that i always rave to you guys about the electric um like nose sucker whatever they call it nasal aspirator and then i have a couple other things that we found in bins these are like teethers i found a cradle cap brush so we've just been trying to find everything that we have let's just open up some stuff see what i ordered because i'm telling you i ordered a bunch of stuff just in panic because i really thought that we were gonna end up at the hospital that day so let's see i ordered the breast milk storage bags this is just because i plan on nursing and i need somewhere to put like excess um breast milk hoping that that goes well i should probably watch some like breastfeeding videos um to refresh my memory because like there's a lot that like everyone's like oh it'll come back to you and if you happen to be new here also like this is my third kid so i've done this before but i feel like i forget like jackson now is three and a half he's my youngest so it's been a while since like i do this so i need to like at least i don't know do some refreshing because i feel like i know nothing i got that um i also ordered this which i didn't put on like my baby registry video this is like a random thing that i added after the fact but this is like a little pouch thing to put baby pacifiers so i think you can maybe put the pacifier in here and then it's like a nice like squishy silicone thing that you can kind of um tie on your diaper bag so i just wanted to like grab things that i knew that i was going to need for the baby's hospital bag and for my hospital bag 
to kind of have things ready so that way i'm not like i was a couple days ago like okay if i have to run to the hospital i have nothing ready so i got that i told you guys that this time around i'm gonna be more open to having the baby take a pacifier with my other kids I was always like freaking out that it was gonna disturb breastfeeding, but I'm gonna try to hand my kid a pacifier so that way I don't become a full-time human pacifier if that's possible. So we'll see, I ordered pacifiers somewhere and they should be here. I also ordered this thing. This is not exactly what it looked like on Amazon, like on the listing. It's supposed to be like a, a cute little like gown for the baby. And I got it in like this mint green so that I could take it to the hospital. We still don't know if baby's a boy or a girl. So I thought that this was like a pretty color. So this is what it looks like. It's cute and I'm probably gonna keep it. It's zero to three months. But I will say that it's not exactly what I thought it was. I thought this was gonna be more of like that bamboo material. This is more like cottony, but it is a gown. And so we can knot it on the bottom, but I feel like this is gonna be huge for a newborn. So I'm gonna wash it, see if it shrinks but it's not tiny, like this thing is very large. So I would have to tie a very big knot at the bottom for the baby and it comes with the hat. But the hat, this looks like a freaking like Merlin hat. Like what is this, what is this? This was, this was not it. But let's see if um, when I wash it, at least this is like another piece of clothing that you know I can put on the baby and make it work. Even if it's just for like an emergency for the time being, have something to take to the hospital. Okay, so this was another one of those electric nail files. I had one in there that I found, but the battery wasn't working and I didn't have any of the other attachments. So I just bought a brand new one. So this thing is the best for the little ones and their nails, making sure that they stay nice and short. Does it already come with the battery? No, I'm still gonna have to like put a battery in, but you've got like all the different attachments and then that's how you file their nails i'm sure in the instructions it says like which one to use for whatever age they are it says the orange one is for zero to three months the green one is for four to eleven months so here like in the instructions it tells me which one to use but that was always really good to have for the other kids so i'm just glad i got a fresh new one it's not old it hasn't been used so we can start fresh. And then these were some of the pacifiers that I got. I got two different kinds because remember every kid is different and some of the babies will take to certain brands and some of them will take to different brands. So these are the MAM ones and they usually say that these are like really good for breastfed babies, that breastfed babies tend to like them. I literally just got these two. So two of these that are for newborn, right? Cause there's also like different ages like certain pacifiers are like for different age groups like if i remember correctly like that's not something that i do as a first time mom it says here 94 percent nipple acceptance so i guess that means that kids don't reject it all that often i'm hoping my kid will like this okay so i got this set and then i'll show you the other set and then depending on if my baby ends up liking any of them then if i need to buy more then i can buy more of that specific brand but does it make sense to have 25 pacifiers of the same brand if you don't even know if your kid is gonna like it all right i have to open this box up to show you and of course i never have scissors every freaking time that i go to open boxes i should just have scissors like permanently attached to me at this point given all the boxes that we've been going through with the move and stuff i really should just wear scissors around my neck but i don't and then i'm just like constantly annoyed because i can't open up these boxes all right 27 million thousand hours later here we go so i ordered a bunch of um like toddler hangers so these are like baby clothes hangers and i got like the ones that are velvet so that the clothes doesn't like slip off it comes with I don't know how many this is, but this is how many hangers we got. Now that I have hangers, like the clothes that I have um, washed and stuff, or any new clothes that we get, I can hang it up. But you see, it fits like the baby clothes a lot better. I think that'll be cute in the closet. So these are always really good to have. This box, what do we have? Okay, so I ordered one of these, just like a passy clip, so that way the pacifier doesn't get lost. And then I ordered the portable sound machine. So this was like an essential for me that I really wanted to get before making my way to the hospital because in the baby's hospital bag or in my hospital bag, whatever, um, I wanted to have this to take to the hospital. A lot of people have said that it was a good idea to have a sound machine in the hospital room. That way, like at night, you can already start getting your baby used to like the sounds, the white noise sounds, helps them sleep. You can take it in the car when you leave the hospital. I mean, I swore by, um, 
a portable sound machine. I didn't have this exact same one, but I lived with one like attached to me. This one's actually a little bit bigger than the one that I had last time, I think. But we've got different noises. So what do we have? We have birds. That sounds more like white noise. Okay, but that's super loud. That's like ocean, I think. Ocean. It's like fire cracking. So that has a lot of different noises. Okay, but this button over here is like more of the white noise. like there's a timer 30 60 and 90 so there's a little timer what is this baby button oh it's just like a lullaby music okay so obviously i haven't used it with a child yet but i will say that that's pretty impressive to me i've used a lot of portable sound machines seen a lot of them we use the hatch for the kids like for nighttime but just like to be carrying around the house or take on the go i feel like this one will probably work out pretty well it's white it's pretty to look at since it's gonna be permanently attached to me, but it gets loud, which I like. I've used that. I know a lot of people love that baby shusher thing, the orange one. I used that one time and I freaking hated it. I felt like it didn't do anything. Whatever, I'll keep you posted if my thoughts change, but at least I have one now. I have the little charger for it. And then it comes with like a little circle ring that I've got to figure out how to put on there. So that way I can clip it to like my, um, my baby carrier when I start wearing the baby and stuff. Like I'm gonna be living with that thing by my side. So I'm glad that I have it now. This may or may not be something for the baby. I'm still like also ordering stuff for the house. And I think I ordered a shower curtain, which is like the most random thing, but did they put anything else in here? Waiting on that other set of pacifiers that I thought they said was delivered, but hoping it didn't fall out of the box. You know what happened to me the other day, you guys? I placed an order. I ordered um, my Tula face wash that I really love. And I tracked it. It said it was delivered. It came in like an envelope like this, right? But when I got the envelope out of the mailbox, I kid you not, there was nothing inside. And it was actually open. And then on like the little like slip thing here, like on, on this little thing, there was something that had said, it said open. And I was like, why on earth? Like what happened? Somebody stole my face wash. So I had to go through like this whole customer service thing so that I could get a refund. Cause I was like, how do I prove that I didn't just open it and take it out myself? Like how do I prove that nothing was delivered? It was quite annoying, but I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but I did like the little chat feature with Amazon. I was like, give me my money back. I didn't get my face wash. So yeah, that has nothing to do with baby, but thought I would share anyway. Okay, so this I still have to wash. I will put that to wash. There's still a couple things that I'm gonna put to wash. Like this is my old baby carrier and I'm gonna try to figure out how I can wash it. This is just the one that I have for now. I have not yet ordered a new baby carrier. So until I do, I would like to wash that. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Let's open up this baby bouncer. One of the things that I really wanted was a new baby bouncer and it looks very cute on um, online, but Hopefully it will be just as cute in person. Okay, so the reality of the situation is that I don't quite understand these instructions and I'm gonna wait for Joe to put this together and that way he can help me because he'll do it in two seconds versus me trying to like explain this to myself and it's taking 10 hours um, and I just don't feel like doing it but he's taking a nap right now. Later once it's assembled I'll show you guys. I do like the color. I wanted something just very neutral and it's got like this little attachment with the toys so again as soon as it is put together I will show you what it looks like but then I also have to still like wash it because anything like the baby's gonna be in I'm trying to wash ahead of time so yeah stay tuned for that but I do have the snuggle me so I think that we can open up because that doesn't what? involve any kind oh, of assembly cute. do you like it Riley's here watching me like you know open up all the things of course hi <laughs> I'm the oldest one around oh, Mama is simply the oldest one Thank you, Riley. Actually, your father's the oldest one. But what? Okay. So, yes, this is the Snuggle Me Lounger. Looks like this. This is the color I got, but then I also ordered the sheet for it. So, 
we're gonna open this also and then wash the yeah. feet but this is making my heart so happy that i finally feel yes, like things are coming my together so happy because i'm gonna get my cat Riley, how about you be excited that you're gonna have a brother or sister yeah but i love my cat better okay. like seriously to think that there's gonna be a tiny human like lay around here i'm so excited but also freaking out also like slightly terrified um but yeah you see when you order the snuggle me it has no kind of cover on it so i'm glad that i got this on sale i think i got it like on a memorial day sale or something like that so i didn't pay full price and then i ordered the cover the cover is like super soft and cozy so we'll put this to wash and then i can get this ready and then i'll just like have it in the in the closet or i'll put it somewhere where it's not going to get dirty anytime soon All right guys, so it is several days later. I finally got around to um, like having Joe assemble the bassinet and the little baby bouncer. So this is what everything is looking like and I'm very, very pleased. So I guess I'll show you guys the bassinet first. You guys will see this in action obviously when the baby comes, but first of all, it's really pretty. Like I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I feel like it's gonna go really nice in our bedroom once everything else is cleared out. But this is exactly what I wanted. I love that it has storage underneath. So I'm planning on putting like diapers and wipes down there. And then it's adjustable. And then when the baby gets here and we actually start using it, there's a way to secure it like onto the bed so that you know that it's not gonna like roll away and that there won't be space like in between the bassinet and the bed. So we'll do that later. And you know, when I actually set it up to use it, I will show you, but this makes me so happy. So to give you an idea, this is what like the concept is. The concept is that you can zip it down and then these little bars come down. So then this is what it's gonna look like when the baby is sleeping, something like this. So that there's still um, like space, like the baby's still like really close to me. I can lay down and like when I'm laying down, I can still like touch the baby. I can easily get the baby out of the crib or out of the bassinet and onto my bed like if I'm nursing. And that's really exactly what I wanted. The halo I felt like did not do that this easily. The bar was like always here and then you had to like hold down the bar. I just didn't like it. So I do think that this is gonna be way better but I will keep you guys posted. So yeah, that's a bassinet. It does come with um, this, like there's a little mattress cover that's already on this. Um, I'm gonna take it off and wash it and then I'm gonna ask Joe to like give me the dimensions of this so I can look on Amazon to see what size the mattress covers are so I can order a couple more in case like the baby spits up and we wanna change the mattress cover, the sheet. I need to have like some of those handy and this is like a different size obviously than the Halo one that we used to have. Can you hear how wild my children are tonight? Like I'm about to get them to bed and they are just off the chain, so I'm very, very sorry. But this is the baby bouncer. So Joe finally put it together. It seems very easy to use. It was just like a little bit complicated to um, like set up. So again, I'm a fan of like the color of it. I wanted something neutral. Um, this obviously comes off and you can also adjust it. You can reposition it. You can put it lower, you can put it higher. For now though, I'm just gonna have it off and then this whole cover will come off so you just slip it right off and then you can throw it in the wash it says you can wash it on gentle and then like hang it to dry so if baby's in it and then like spits up in it then you know we can just go ahead and wash it and i don't know if this is going to show you very well but it is very light like it's a little bit big like this part it's kind of wide um but it's not heavy like it's very easy to pick up and move around and then if you want to close it you close it like that and then it's a very like slim 
design. So you can just take this with you, take it upstairs, take it downstairs. If I'm going to my mom's house and I wanna take it, I can take it. It doesn't take up like a lot of space. So I think that this will work out. But again, like I keep saying, I will keep you guys posted. Um, my goal with the baby bouncers is, I had an old one that I had from Jackson. I'm gonna keep one upstairs. And then this one, I'll probably keep downstairs. And that way we'll have somewhere to put the baby both upstairs and downstairs and I don't have to think. <laughs> I don't have to keep like taking it from one spot to another. But I'm actually gonna take this to the nursery because I don't need to really have that over in our room for now. Can you not? <laughs> Can you not? I'm trying to finish my video. <laughs> and then really like the last couple things that I got since we last chatted were I finally got those other two um, pacifiers. So these were itsy ritzy ones. Why is this not focusing? Maybe there i think that's better these are itsy ritzy soothers it says zero to six months these have the natural rubber nipples so i'll have the mam ones and then i'll have these ready to go see which one the baby prefers maybe it'll be one of them maybe it won't be any of them and then i did order these cloth diapers not because i intend on cloth diapering but i've told you guys before that these are my favorite burp cloths so i thought i had some saved from jackson and i couldn't find any so I just ordered a pack of 10 and I'll have these washed. And what I like about these is that they are literally just the most like easy to use burp cloths. You throw them over your shoulder, you put them anywhere that the baby is and they absorb like spit up really well. And you don't have to worry that you're ruining like these beautiful like pattern burp cloths. I don't know, I've just always been a fan of these guys. I just think that they're more practical. And then I can have them laying all over my house and they're like little towels and they're not like annoying and in your face. Here on the label, it actually says best choice for burp cloths, crafting, household cleanups, car washing and waxing, like all these different uses right here. So I'm not gonna be using it to like wash my car, but I will use it for um, baby burp cloths. So I've just got like another load of laundry to do, but things are coming along and I'm just proud and happy with the progress that we've made so i'm gonna end today's video here as you can tell i am out of breath i recently like was told again at the doctor you guys that i'm severely iron deficient so i'm like in the process of trying to work out that but it makes me very um uh like shortness of breath is definitely one of the symptoms of iron deficiency and i'm like very iron deficient i think they told me that my level was supposed to be at like 30 and I'm at like a seven. So bear with me if I if I feel like I'm out of breath in my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed just nesting with me, seeing like the products that we've got so far. I am 36 weeks as of yesterday and it's about to happen anytime soon. So I will do as much more nesting as I can until this child pops out. Like I swear I'm gonna be filming a video of like folding the baby's clothes and my water is gonna break any day now. But thank you guys for being here and thank you for all the prayers and all of the like sweet messages you guys have been sending me. Um, it really means a lot to me and I hope that you guys in your pregnancies are feeling okay, that you're doing okay mentally, physically, spiritually, <laughs> emotionally, all of the things. Um, this is obviously a very exciting time, but there's just a lot going on. So anyway, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay tuned, like I said, more stuff to come. And I love your faces. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel big time. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.